Welcome everybody, I'm Sarah from iDesign and today I'm going to walk you through how to get started with the new VIX IQ competition, Pitching In. But before I dive into the details, let me give you a quick overview of the competition and how to create your first team. But don't worry, if you already have a team, you can just click ahead to the next chapter and you can skip these sections of the video. So each year around April, thousands of students come together and compete in the VEX IQ Challenge, which provides elementary and middle school students with exciting open-ended robotics challenges that enhance their skills through hands-on, student-centered learning. Now this really puts classroom STEM concepts to the test as students learn lifelong skills in teamwork, critical thinking, project management, and communication skills to prepare them to become the next generation of innovators and problem solvers. Now, tournaments are held year round at regional, state, and national levels to prepare these teams for the world competition, which is presented by the Robotics Education and Competition Foundation. And for this year, VEX IQ Challenge is called Pitching In. So the first step is creating your team, which can be made up of students in your school, students from the community, students within a youth organization, or maybe just a group of neighborhood students. Basically, it's anyone born after May 1st, 2006. Now, a team can be classified as either an elementary school team or a middle school team. And there's no maximum to the number of students who can participate on a team. But a team has to have at least two students. Now, typically we see about four to six students on average on a team, but it's really up to you. Each team does have to have a drive team member, a programmer, designer, and a builder. So what are those roles? Well, the drive team member are the ones who operate the robot during the driver control period. The programmer is the one who writes the computer code that's downloaded onto the robot. The designer is the one who designs the robot to be built for a competition. And of course, the builder is the one who actually assembles the robot together. Once you've created a team, you'll need to register your team on robotevents.com because only registered teams may compete in the VEX IQ challenge. So just be sure to do this as early as possible. Then decide on a frequency for your meetings, like once or twice a week for a few hours, and develop a team identity like choosing a team name, creating displays for your pit space, designing a team t-shirt, or even creating a team cheer or song. It's really up to you. Now, before we get into building your robot, let's take a look at this year's game, Pitching In. The VEX IQ Challenge Pitching In is played on a six foot by eight foot rectangular field with a total of 22 balls on the field. In the Teamwork Challenge, two robots with two drivers each compete as an alliance in a 60 second long teamwork match, working collaboratively to score points. Drivers on a team switch controllers midway through the match between about 25 seconds and 35 seconds remaining in the match. Now the objective of the game is to score as many points as possible with your alliance partner by scoring balls and goals, clearing corrals, and hanging at the end of the match. Teams can compete in the optional robot skills challenge where one robot takes the field to score as many points as possible within 60 seconds. These matches consist of driving skills matches, which will be entirely driver controlled, and programming skills matches, which will be autonomous with limited human interaction. Now, traditionally, the VEX IQ Challenge were held in person in either a classroom, a school gymnasium, or even community centers. But for the 2021-2022 season, event partners can choose to hold an event entirely remotely if they wish by utilizing the robotevents.com live remote tournament interface. Now the intent of a remote live event is to replicate the competition experience of an in-person live skills only event as much as possible. In the Live Remote Challenge, an alliance of two robots, each operating on their own field under driver control, work together over a live video connection. So now let's take a look at how to build your robot. So in the VEX IQ competition pitching in, only one robot is allowed to compete per team. And for this competition, VEX Robotics has released the hero robot called Fling. However, teams are encouraged to modify this hero robot to suit their team's needs. Just keep in mind some of the rules, such as at the start of each match, the robot must fit within an 11 inch by 19 inch area, be no more than 15 inches tall from the floor, and only be contacting the floor and or field perimeter. Only once the match has begun, robots can expand vertically up to a 19 inch height from the floor. 
Robots can be built from the VEX IQ product line and may only be built using official robot components from the VEX IQ product line, unless it's otherwise noted in the rules and regulations. Robots are limited to only one VEX IQ robot brain and one VEX IQ radio in conjunction with their VEX IQ brain. Robots can use up to six VEX IQ smart motors too. But please, please, please read the rules and regulations thoroughly before you begin your build, because prior to competing at each event, all robots have to pass an inspection. So I know this is probably a lot of information for you to take in, but don't worry, you're not alone in this journey and you'll have many resources to reach out to if you're having trouble within any stage of this process. First of all, you can reach out to us at iDesign and we'd be happy to help you along the way. We'll even help you find your regional support manager who will basically be your best friend as you experience robotics. They'll help you connect with a local coach or maybe some social media groups who can act as great mentors in your first years. Officially registered teams will also have the opportunity to ask official rule interpretations in the VEX IQ Challenge Q&A system. So we wish you good luck this year and may you and your team have a really great season.